A very good evening. You're watching the 7 o'clock news live from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, paid a visit today to the Southern Governorate to follow up on its projects and programs in the presence of Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khaled bin Abdullah al Khalifa, Speaker of the Representatives Council Ahmed al Mullah, and Interior Minister Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah al Khalifa, in addition to Services Ministers, MPs, and several senior officers. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister emphasized the economic and social importance of the Southern Governorate, saying that its cities and villages require more developmental projects. He congratulated the newly appointed Governor, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa, on Al Khalifa on the, on the confidence he has received on his appointment and directed him to further develop health, education, housing and infrastructure services. He also directed the Governor and officials to pay more attention to citizens' needs in order to provide them with the best services in line with the government's responsibility and the directives of His Majesty the King. The Prime Minister also expressed thanks and praise to the Minister of Interior for the efforts of security authorities and policemen in preserving security and stability to create a better environment for development. His Royal Highness also highlighted the significant cooperation between government bodies and representatives and municipal councils. He noted that the governorates complement the work of the governorate of the government, asserting that cooperation with the legislative body is essential.
صاحب السمو الملكي الوالد الأمير خليفة بن سلمان آل خليفة رئيس مجلس الوزراء الموقر حفظه الله ورعاه السادة الحضور الكرام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يشرفني يا صاحب السمو أن أرحب بمقدمكم الكريم بزيارتكم الميمونة للمحافظة الجنوبية حيث تجسد هذه الزيارة الكريمة المباركة جانب من الجوانب during the meeting, the southern governor made a speech in which he described His Royal Highness's visit as historic, affirming the pride of the governorate's people. He said that it is also an encouragement to exert more effort to further develop the area. He thanked His Royal Highness for his support and keenness to follow up on the needs of the people through direct communication and field visits. Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali expressed honour in holding the position of southern governor thanking His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his directives, which will serve as the guidelines for serving the people, in line with the vision of His Majesty the King. He said the Governorate requires development in various vital fields, such as housing, health and education, in addition to facilities. The Southern Governor commended His Royal Highness's support, confirming commitment to cooperation in order to improve the quality of services provided to the people. بما يحقق تطلعات حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى الخليفة عاهل البلاد المفدى وبما يدعم عمل الحكومة برئاستكم حفظكم الله وبمؤازرة صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد الخليفة ولي العهد نائب القائد الأعلى النائب الأول لرئيس مجلس الوزراء كما يشرفني يا صاحب السمو أن أنقل لكم احتياجات الأهالي في المحافظة الجنوبية ومتطلباتهم في المجالات الحيوية كالإسكان والصحة والتعليم وغيرها من الخدمات التي تحتاجها المحافظة وسيكون شعارنا الأول مع الأهالي المحافظة الكرام هو التعاون معا من أجل تطوير المحافظة والوصول بمرافقها وخدماتها وأهلها إلى أفضل المستويات في إطار النظم والسياسات والقوانين السارية وفي ظل التوجيهات السديدة من القيادة الرشيدة أن تشريف سموكم بهذه الزيارة إلى المحافظة الجنوبية لهو خير دافع لنا جميعا للمزيد من التعاون وبذل الجهد في النهوض بالمحافظة والوصول بها إلى أرقى مراتب التطوير أننا وكل أهالي المحافظة الجنوبية نستمد من سموكم الكريم الدعم والمساندة والتشجيع كما عودتمونا دائما ونستلهم من سموكم تحمل المسؤولية بجد وعزم وثبات والرغبة الدائمة في خدمة مملكة البحرين وشعبها الكريم وفي الختام أتوجه بالشكر لسموكم وللضيوف الكرام على هذه الزيارة الكريمة واسأل الله لكم موفور الصحة والعافية والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Meanwhile, the Interior Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his visit to the Southern Governorate, which is an encouragement to all governorates to exert more efforts in serving the people. He wished the newly appointed Southern Governor success in developing the services provided. He said His Royal Highness's directives reflect the Ministry's plans to reinforce stability and security in order to pave the way for development and urbanization. For their part, the people of the Southern Governorates expressed joy and pride about the Prime Minister's visit which reflects his care for the people. They expressed optimism for more development in the services fields and happiness about the appointment of Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali as their governor.
Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa visited the Avenues Mall project, where he affirmed government policies to achieve Economic Vision 2030 and its aim of attracting investment into projects from regional and international sources. The project is one of several investment projects being developed under the prosperous reign of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Deputy Prime Minister praised the efforts of the government, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, with the goal of maintaining the pioneering position of the Kingdom. He pointed out the progress of the investment movement in Bahrain, confirmed by reports issued by the Comprehensive Municipal Centre that indicate stability in the number of licences issued to build investment projects from the beginning of the year until mid-August, compared to the same periods in previous years. This was boosted following a law decree regarding the cost of developing infrastructure in reconstruction areas. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah said that after the implementation of the decree law, he expected investment in construction to grow, with the change in approach reflecting the necessity of public-private sector partnerships and sustainable development. The Deputy Prime Minister was then briefed by the Chairman of King Faisal Cornish Development and Manabi Companies on the progress of the project and the stages of implementation. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah praised the efforts of all who participated in the project and their contributions to the national economy. He said the project will create job opportunities and will enhance the tourism profile of the Kingdom. The foundation stone laying ceremony for the Avenues Bahrain Mall was held in late September of 2014 and the mall is set to be fully completed and officially opened by the end of October. Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defence Force, the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, delegated BDF Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Diab bin Sakh Al Naimi, to receive the BDF Hajj mission at the Bahrain Defence Force General Command on the occasion of his departure today to the Holy Lands. The BDF Chief of Staff welcomed the Hajj mission and conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and Commander-in-Chief of the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa. He requested members of the BDF Hajj mission to cooperate amongst themselves and with other pilgrims and to adhere to the precepts of the Islamic religion. He also lauded the facilities provided by the government of the custodian of the two holy mosques to serve Hajj pilgrims, wishing them successful Hajj rituals, while sending many happy returns to Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic nations. A number of BDF senior officials were also present. Very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohamed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,307.65 points, marking a decrease of 2.14 points below last closing. The decrease was in the commercial bank sector, and investors traded mainly in the services sector with 34% of total shares. 32 transactions included 401,500 shares worth 128,021 Bahraini dinars.